What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode we are laying siege to the city of Minsk and if we take this city the Polish faction is forever destroyed and we can continue our conquest for world domination. So let's get going. Um, the only thing really of note to bear in mind with their army is they have one unit of mortars. So we are going to be on the offensive. We're not going to want to sit back just because mortars do um, a disproportionate amount of damage. We're going to want to make sure we just advance straight towards them, clear them off the map, destroy Poland, rebuild our forces and then advance on towards Sweden. Then once we've secured Scandinavia, then it may be on towards sending some troops over to the Americas and begin a bit of a two-front war against future enemies. But before we go crazy, uh, this is a nice bit of high ground, but the position hmm, might be okay. So let's hedge our bet. So put you guys here, heavy horse artillery back here. They've both got plenty of range, so they shouldn't have any problems engaging the enemy. Let's get everybody, all of my main units set up front. Conscripts and Grenadiers can balance, balance each other out on the flank. Excellent. The howitzers. Fire whatever. Okay, fire round shot because you can't actually hit anything with canister shot. Let's with a um, quick climb shot. Let's set our artillery to we'll set one unit of artillery to engage the enemy um, infantry one unit to engage another unit of well to let them free fire onto the enemy um, artillery you guys engaging you're engaging probably their artillery in the town as well So we're going to demolish a few buildings on the way, but we will get into position. Garrison Provincial Line is advancing towards us. I mean, we're not... Okay, maybe let's make our guys run. Heavy cavalry, push up. Around the rear. Okay, let's split our howitzers up to engage different targets. Our foot artillery is going to keep engaging the enemy. Uh, you guys don't have a line of sight at all on the enemy, so let's just give you a unit of militia on the flank. You should be able to see them well enough. They're firing explosive shells at us. Fire. Advance towards the town at speed. My well, you men kind of do a bit more like this. Actually, no, the enemy dragoons are just going to advance towards our line, so don't go any further. I'm not going to take that break in my formation as an opportunity to charge, although we will form in drop in square. You men just open fire on the dragoons, that should see them off. Or they they've been seen off. Oh, they've dismounted. Perfect. Okay. Direct my howitzers to open up on the enemy infantry ahead of us. They have broken. Okay, I think. Cavalry fall back on the right flank. You men are going to have to smash into the mercenaries because you don't really have an option. Okay. 
Let's carpet the area of the town with quicklime. So the heavy infantry, the heavy cavalry, took a few losses, but they're going to be able to bash through them pretty nicely. My hussars are going to try and flank around. My, my carabino are just going to continue to open fire on the enemy. We need one on the right, so let's, on the left rather, so let's push my troops up to take advantage of the enemy retreat. Bolok Armed Citizenry are looking like they want to let's just try and engage that unit there. See if we can get a get a bit of a route going there. Unit's been destroyed. Gorillas are putting up stakes around us. Okay, how it says, just keep engaging the enemy. Carabina, cease fire. Get my grenadiers in here as well. I don't mind if that's the end of my cavalry force. Commit my grenadiers into the action, they'll love it too. Although they want to focus on the line infantry right here. Enemy command of the town is weakening. So you men push up to that gap. You men hold that gap. Give my howitzers new orders. We're not going to garrison the town. Although we may garrison the town hall. Okay, there we go. The enemy has been defeated. Where's my carabiner and my skirmish cav? There's a enemy regiment of horse right there. My marines and conscripts push up. Cavalry just pursue the enemy. Oh, a unit of lancers came in and had a go. Okay, my heavy cavalry nail it back across the gap. Infantry charge the provincial cav. Engineers, the U men, then it charge the foot guards. Okay, bring my carabiner back, fire will on. Lance, my hussars chase down the enemy um, lancers. Switched round shot with my howitzers. Get this infantry around to attack the horse artillery. So once you guys start garrisoning these these um, windows. You should start to do some good work in the centre. Artillery, ceasefire. You've got around the back of the grenadiers, of the um, grenadiers. You've got around the back of the engineers. So the artillery is coming in though. Attack the regiment of horse. Militia. New men stop shooting, engage regiment of force. Yep, everybody in the centre's collapsed. Kill the enemy general, push through the town. So we 
we've smashed that unit of militia. My curiosity are going to win the day for us here once more. Continue to slaughter them. This regiment of horses, all that remains. Throw everybody into the mix. Grenadiers advance. No, that's the end of the enemy regiment of horse as well, I believe. Oh no, you guys have stuck around. Form square. You men come back. They're only provincial cav, so they are not very good. They say they're winning. But the losing men thick and fast, and that's going to get worse in a minute. On the way out. There we go. Kill as many as you can, but we don't need to chase them down. Because I'm afraid Poland Lithuania has been destroyed. There is not much they can do about that at all. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. So Minsk is taken. Let's repair this government building. Let's get replenished. Um, two happiness buildings and a church school. We don't need two happiness buildings, although it does make sense to not demolish the most expensive one. Let's demolish the theatre. Build the cloth mill. You get you replenishing, although you are recruiting replacement light infantry. And my rakes up to St. Petersburg. blocked each other so you do have a bit further you can go can you leave Lithuania you can excellent get to this crossing point then you're in a good position now you're Garva let's upgrade the lumber mill okay down in Africa you guys are still replenishing after a few turns of hard campaigning you still not replenished see so still apparently <laughs> apparently not uh, okay you guys are all replenishing so that's okay let's try and support our Bavarian ally although it looks like we have used both these agents so you're holding Amsterdam at risk you guys have to decide what direction you want to go Although that's probably a good time to actually push forward when the enemy is in trouble. We've done some good raiding around Denmark. I don't think there's anything we can do. You're waiting for one unit of engineers to be recruited. We can have a few turns of recruitment to go through anyway. Uh, to Alpha Amim, I think. Let's recruit a general in Baghdad because you're going to want to start to build up these armies on the frontier and get ready for the inevitable attack against Dagestan and Persia. Well, let's hit end turn. My agents are mustering. My, my reinforcements are arriving. Replacement ships are on the way. You may not all be able to get in. The enemy fleet is in Gibraltar, but we don't we don't really care about that, not just yet. There you go, Amsterdam are panicking. Because we are here in numbers. We're attempting to push around the flank. The Dutch Navy does not want to commit to action. Ah. Uh, the Dutch pushed back the Bavarians. So I think our focus must still be, well really, it's still Spain and North Africa. Really? That's where we want to be on the offensive. Well, there and Sweden when the opportunity allows. Until then, we're going to want to... Ooh, you, you've split away from Estonia. That's a big mistake because we're going to go for you now. 
Don't mind if you raid us. Oh, they've reinforced the town. Fair enough. Moogles are picking up an invasion fleet. I mean, I've got to be really careful around Baghdad. That's... I mean, they're stacking around Persia. Bavaria reforming their strength. That's all gone rather well in the grand scheme. Okay, right. Another rake. Oh, as if I... As if I was running out. No, you can't cross to Copenhagen until we deal with the Dutch fleet. So I have this shipyard. Well, how long is it going to take you to build that? Three turns. Let's get one ship done. New port emerges in Bulgaria. Okay, we don't need any more military shipbuilding in the Black Sea. You can raid us if you like, good sir. Okay, you men just auto auto resolve killing those marines. Actually, you men can try and threaten St. Petersburg from the north. You're carrying on your push towards Stockholm. Although, you fools, you thought your city would be safe. You thought wrong. We are able to deposit troops off of... Oh no, can we not do it? Ah, this... Oh no, is it because you're... Si, Damn. Oh no, you don't have any you don't have any troops on board. Obviously you can't do any of that. Signore. Ordini ricevuti. Dump them off of the coast of Copenhagen. Get my conscripts in just to add a little bit of extra mass. Excellent, get you back to Cuxhaven. Take advance. Short on carbines, and you've gone to top gallants. Improved coppering has gone to preserve foods. That will be fine. We need to make sure we're building the army staff college, though. Yep, we are. Good. Okay, just keep on growing. My empire. We've got you upgraded. We want to make sure we keep growing Catholicism in Germany because we don't want any problems behind our lines. Yep, Chinoa made a big mistake attacking us. Yeah, you are being taxed, which is excellent. Severa Mosque. Okay, let's do that and get a galley. Fortified Karelia. We've upgraded this port. The Iron Masters works in Silesia. Let's upgrade you. You're almost 100% Catholic. So Riga's right for the taking. You are just holding. Although I get the distinct impression that you are looking to try and wheedle your way behind my lines in Russia. Flavio Buffon, let's get you out and let's get you recruiting. Cursier, sharpshooter, hussars. One horse guard artillery. Two 24 pounders. I mean, it's just a good layout. Two of those. Let's get a grenadier guard and a Swiss grenadier. So you're on your way. Okay, let's keep making sure you're still being taxed. Okay, your engineers are up. You guys are ready. So you, you've, you're attempting to kind of flank around. Henrik von Nassau Uwerkirk. Okay. 
Okay, I think the strategy is to move you into Hanover just to prevent the growth in upset, in, in, in um, growth in um, public order. De degradation. So Mr. Schaefer, let's try and assassinate him. Got him. Then you try and assassinate Mr. Cohen. Okay, so first of all, Hanover was upset, but now they're fine. Austria is more concerning. So let's get a unit of dragoon. Well, a few squadrons of dragoons. Okay, trait gained. Aggressive attacker. That was you, Balvazare. Trade routes. Don't mind about that. So you guys are likely to be attacked next turn. Or you'll hold off the Dutch. So I think there are a few things we want to do here. We want to attack the city. So I want to bring you if we're going to attack the city. You're a bit artillery heavy. Hmm. Well, one thing you definitely want to do is take this army and attack that elite Dutch general. They get no help. We get the help of a full strength army. Not that we'll need it. They got lots of artillery though, but we will deal with them ourselves. But the key priority out of this action is seeing if we can kill that general. He's pretty good. I want him taken care of. Not in a not in a good way. I want him taken care of in a bad way. We can attack through Benelux towards Prussia. That'd be great. Towards Prussia. Paris. Especially because if we can take out the Dutch, then all of the Dutch colonies will become pirate territories and we can mop up. So I think we don't want to no we don't, don't want to knock out the Dutch until we've knocked out the Swedes and we've got a lot of armies stacked up ready to invade America. So I'm going to make is that a roughly split three infantry, one grenadier, one two, three infantry, one grenadier. Well, not say grenadier foot guard unit, grenadier and a skirmisher on each flank. Well, again, not sorry, grenadier foot guard and skirmisher on each flank. You guys are okay. General, hold. Just let them shoot at whatever they like, considering the enemy has a lot of artillery. I am not averse to the enemy attacking the artillery. We can storm right up to it by the looks of things. Especially if they aren't actually in a position to stop us. Something like this. They appear to not want to be matching our deployment. We've got some troops of theirs routing already. If they are willing to let us advance into them, not really stop us, we are going to do that. It looks like they are going to try and dig in on the left flank. Oh, that general's bodyguard. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Shoot her! Is that their actual general? Yes, it is their actual general. Get him! I hear enemy charging. Verge of killing their general. Cavalry advance towards the regiment of horse. Get your carbines out. And give them a volley. Down to 65. Charge them. 
infantry push the flank hard skirmishes as well bring in the heavy cavalry although the enemy cavalry has been dealt with grenadiers storm the top of that hill and push the flank of it as well Oh, it says attack ground starts to try and clear some of the enemies out from their defensive positions. Regiment of horse, go for the general's bodyguard. Carabiner are dealing with their regiment of horse, but regiment of horse, at least they are weakened. The general's engaging my cavalry. Generals up here. No enemy skirmishes are up here. Warm Square, Marines, charge the Swiss line. We're knocking some holes in their formations here. So this unit of Swiss line. Okay, let's run you out here. Okay, foot artillery. You're not actually engaging anything. Go on, my heavy cavalry. Charge down those mercenaries. Enemy hussars are nearby. Sadly, I think the enemy general has successfully routed. Get my cavalry back to deal with their regiment of horse. Artillery is opening fire. The defensive line is breaking. These men storm up to the crest of the hill. Keep the surround going strong. Get my marines out of there. Ideas form up. Get my regiment of foot up here. So the third regiment's holding out quite well. Where's my general? It's get him up here. Make sure my carabiner fire wheel off. All of you men, guard mode off. Get after that 117th regiment. Yeah, we got him. I'll form up and engage the 122nd. Okay, attack the Swiss line infantry. Artillery cease fire. Should I say ceasefire? Well, ceasefire is probably a bit of a premature order. Actually, come up here and attack the Swiss line. Who's left? Garrison guards. And one gun team that's advancing unlimbered. Unlimbered up, rather. Everybody attack the 9th Regiment of Foot. The 9th Foot Guards, Garrison Guards. No, that's the end of them. Everybody cease fire. I'm going to continue. Attack the Wildlife Infantry. Keep attacking. Kill them. Kill as many as you can. You help these men work out their pathfinding, but that failed. Everybody stack up the cavalry. Kill the last of this infantry unit, we gun them. 
So now everybody go after the garrison guards. There is a union of conscripts out there, but we're not so bothered about that. I mean, they are spread all over the shop, these, gar these garrison guards. Oh yeah, they're definitely escaping. They are everywhere. But still, it was a good victory for us. We didn't get to kill the general. That is frustrating. Still, pushed him back with a shadow of his force. So if we attack down the road towards Cologne, I think that brings in them as all of these guys as a reinforcement. Not terrible, just not quite what we want. You men put the city under siege, just really cause them. Although, or do you just go for it? You've only got one howitzer, so no, you don't just go for it. Do you mean advance forward? You're moving up. You are. Raid the Predator Gardens, raid Marburg. So we're going to act as a bit of bait, see if we can lure these guys out to attack us. Elsewhere, though, I think. Let's take this army, probably, and attack Riga. We do get attacked by their reinforcements, but let's attack the city with Nero's force. And the main thing with Nero, he's got lots of artillery, so we can break, make lots of breaches, do lots of good stuff, and then we can just... Well, we should be able to... Well, we're more than able to take them, take the city with the force that we have, even if we've got three units of foot artillery we can't use, chiefly because we've got loads of powers and we've got rockets. So the rockets can open fire to the heart's content, to their heart's content, and clear out the defenders. Then the city will be ours. Come on, lad. Okay, so foot artillery is going to make a couple of breaches, but they're all going to be quite close. One of the howitzers. Actually, to be honest, a lot of these howitzers can stay firing round shot because we've got so much firepower. It's probably not in our interest to go too mad. Something like this. So you men all focus on fort. All of these units. I mean, that's a lot of good units still. Let's get one unit working on quick climbing the centre, because look at that. Ooh, their mortars are in range. Clear out the mortars. Especially if they're attacking our rockets. Especially if we didn't deploy them appropriately. I love rockets. Speed up the rocket deployment. Ooh, we got their general. That's what you get. So the first mortar barrage hit one of my rockets. Here you come, boyos. Start to target some of the enemy units a little bit more. Get you to work on their horse artillery. For the most part, their rockets are gonna, their mortars are gonna go down. Only two guns are firing. load up another set of rockets. Hey, these, <laughs> see, they've, they've hit direct hit two of our rocket units. And this, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that is a bit daft. So keep 
clearing out those mortars because they are going to be important. Although once we push in with our pikemen, they are going to lose interest massively. These two units are going to push the left flank rapidly with cavalry in support. These troops advance, these troops advance to try and capture the defensive position. These units push up to capture this side of the, the wall. we got another two crewmen. Should be some of their guns not crewed. Come to my mother! I think they have been they have just decimating my guys. No, actually, you can probably stand to not. Although you're your fire will is actually attacking in the city, which is okay for now. Okay, everybody, keep working on the centre. Yeah, they're after my pikes. Line infantry secure the fort. Yeah, they are defend. They do want to defend it. Let's not go too mad. Let's actually run you guys over here. More rockets inbound. Got my pikemen in to attack the troops in the breach. Fire it will is off. Cut your way through these guerrillas. Mortars are still opening up. Oh, no, wait, 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 not you, not you. And then these men may attempt to break through. There is only one unit trying to stop them. Come on, work out how to do it. Kind of. Gorillas. Secure the gate, marines, advance. I just want to see if my guys can, if my infantry can run through the breach without necessarily getting tied up in an enormous battle. Let's get my general up here just to provide a bit of an extra boost. No, oh, it's chugging, which means everybody except my pikes get out of that breach. Okay, the gatehouse is ours. They're trying to stop us at this gate. is still getting involved. Fair enough. Kill them all! Put us in our ECs fives. You're just killing my own guys now. Switch to round shot. Attack that unit of provincial cav. Picking off the Drabant guards. Make sure my Swiss pike's going after the cav. 
heavy cavalry get out of the breach infantry just get over get off the wall cavalry go after the mortars so they are massing against us over the gate cross the gate in strength Swiss line hold the ground okay, these two units are going to hold as reserves you then kill the last of these pikes Line infantry get up here. How it says all engage this square formation. Run around the square. Go for the rest of that eight-inch mortar unit. Rockets still coming in. Grenadiers and Swiss pikes are fighting it out in the breach, so we started to get a bit of a chug going. Don't fight the square, fight the six pounder. Uh, this line of the come over here and protect your general's bodyguards. Swiss line, attack the mercenaries. My general has fallen, unsurprising. Oh, this is the reinforcements coming in, isn't it? Artillery engaged the regiment of force. Howitzers just also engaged the regiment of force. Shells coming in. They're ready to fight. I've only killed about six guys. units in trouble. Kill the last of the Drabant guards. That will bring enemy reinforcements in on the field. One of my infantry... Okay, right. Let's pull... Put one of you guys into square. The rest of the unit just slowly work your way back. You men get in and attack the more the garrison unit. Marines clear out the militia. Get my guerrilla mercenaries involved. Hold the center. Excellent, they're now in trouble. Artillery can't really they can shoot stuff, but I think they might be too far away. Get my guerrilla mercenaries over to the square, the center, just to keep it ticking over. Can actually get this line infantry unit over here. You in position over here instead. If I can get you onto the square, you can charge in, attack these infantrymen, protect our infantry. The mustard yellow of the expats. You're going to just get over here as well. You want to take position in the square? Form square. Artillery fire. Quick climb on this spot. Artillery fire on this spot. And my general's kind of dead. Well, he is actually kind of dead. He is dead. You're popping off shots up high. Yeah, you're attacking the men on the walls. My Swiss line 
burn the tide here. Excellent danger close quick climb. Broke the horse grenadier guards. The enemy as a whole is upset. Oh, they're deploying stakes. What do you think I'm going to do? Attack you? No, sir. Victory is ours. Attack the third regiment. The victory belongs to Venice. So that's Riga captured. Sadly, we lost a general. Let's just auto resolve that action there. I think my Swiss, actually, my Swiss pikes. Let's get a pikeman. Giovanni Mosca. You men replenish. Can you leave, Corland? I doubt it based on how unhappy they are. Okay, let's. Crew general. Mr. Pico. Let's recruit a bunch of dragoons. We go garrison Corland. Keep this army moving east. Um, you're full strength, but I'm reasonably strong, so I'm not bothered about you. Poor old Nero. Okay, down here. Just begin just clearing out these Spanish stacks. Sadly, we're not going to be able to replenish everybody, but I don't really mind. The main thing is that, well, we're tidying out these fragments of armies, then we're pushing on to Oran. Let's keep trying to sabotage their government buildings. We've got another rake. Let's send you to Paris. Okay, you haven't managed to do any... Oh no, we did all that. Good, 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 good. Estonia was taken, so then we can drive... Uh, demolish the dockyard. Let's move this light galley over to Pamu. Good. Rumours of cowardice. No, Mr. Perini. We got that port. Okay. No tech on the horizon. We're on for 102,000 next turn. That's pretty tasty. So now we are in a position we're we'll soon ready to move on St. Petersburg. Uh, yeah, you're attacking us. The garrison at the fort is coming out to fight. That's pretty good. So this general thought he was doing good work. So really, we want to deploy a very weak line, find out where our where the enemy garrison is coming out to fight, then get ready to deal with them. They do have a full strength army inside the city that is bugged, so it means that when the city is taken, they will immediately spawn outside. Which isn't what we want. Okay, four units of line, that's enough. Um, one howitzer. Two units of guns, they're going to stay limbered up. The rest of the force stay behind the existing line. Grenadiers and cavalry stay limbered up. Wow. I say wow. That's actually not crazy unreasonable. Okay, limber up. Cavalry storm forward here because we're actually not that. It's going to be relatively simple to mop, this, mop these troops up. <sighs> Too bad we're getting sound shenanigans. Okay, heavy cow. Push forward. My light horse have the right on the general. My 
My gunners are being shot at by mist musketry. Okay, you guys otherwise just drive towards the enemy infantry. Okay, meanwhile, can you guys drop in the squares? Is trying to drop quick climb onto the enemy uh, reinforcement point. The squares will <laughs> the squares will be enough to deal with them. You men get out here onto the plane. Well, you guys need to deploy the square because there's an awful lot of cav coming. Kill that general, teach him what it means to fight us. Form up. Obviously, tell me my hussars are going to let him get away. Gunners and limber. Men make ready. Did we get him? Yes, we did. Our hussars chased him down. Line infantry get over here. Hussars move over. You men retreat back behind the second line. Artillery just bombard. No, actually, really, retreat is the wrong decision. Advance, you've done, you've done more than enough. Okay, I don't think we're going to get into a position. Where I don't think we're going to be able to get the surround around their um, spawn point as much as we would like. Or will we? You men push forward. Don't worry about cavalry. Push forward aggressively. Should be able to deal with them. Yeah, we have. Excellent. Push forward quickly. We're not going to get into a position to surround them unless I do even more rejigging, which I don't really want to do. Clearly bombard the militia. Quick climb, just keep attacking where they're reinforcing from. Blunderbuss shotgunners. You guys can sweep behind us around them. You men charge the third light foot. All of you men are on fire at will, so that's good enough. Reasonable hits. Conscripts, militia. Here comes the fire by rank. Conscript of bayonet charging. Chain of line infantry up. Firing at point blank range. Watch out though, these are veteran conscripts. Cavalry is pushing in as well. 
bit of into the fight. Where's my heavy cavalry? The Sarge is still chopping away at the third light foot. Charge at the back of the conscripts. They've broken one of our infantry units. Fear it will not be enough to stop us. The enemy's collapsing. These conscripts have gained even more experience. We're going to make them pay for that experience. So that's everybody engaging the 51st. More infantry than I can shake a stick at. You're not going to stick around. You're going to run. There you go. Two units of infantry are broken. Three units of infantry are broken. Throw them in. Are oh, they routed? Oh, I suppose they have routed towards the edge of the map. That's fair enough. Marines. Let's get involved. Expat infantry. Charge in. Hussars are routing. Wavering. Form a gun line. These guys are tearing my guys up. Let's try. Withdraw some of this infantry. It's manually retreat my hussars. Get my heavy cavalry out of the way. Focus on them. Shoot them. Gun them down, friend and foe. Oh, those conscripts, they did really well. Marines are breaking. So my men here. Their job is just to pin them down. Quick line's gonna clear him out. <laughs> Everybody's decided this is a terrible idea. You know what? That went actually really well for the Dutch. Uh, not enough to save their skins. However, I will accept that as a I was going to say reasonable victory. They did a lot of damage. But as long as we do more to them and we kill their general, that's what matters. Especially if they're not able to actually... Ooh, we can set them. Really interesting, but they really outnumber us. Let's not do that just yet. Uh, that's a lot better. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more Dutch slaughter. Cheers, everyone.